Sun, sand, and surf might be the first things that come to mind when you're thinking of Tampa Bay, but honestly, this area has so much more to offer than just the Gulf beaches. And in today's video, I'll dive into the top reasons why people love calling Tampa Bay home. And my guess is some of these reasons might even surprise you. So whether you're considering moving to Tampa Bay or just wondering if Tampa is a good place to live, my hope is this list is helpful. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And a little over five and a half years ago, my wife Kate and I sold almost everything Thing we own, packed up our family of five, traveled 1,200 miles south to the Sunshine State, and have been loving it ever since. I'm also a licensed real estate agent, and we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the greater Tampa Bay area. Now let's get into the real reasons why people love living here in Tampa Bay. So reason number one is the exact reason Kate and I decided to pack up that family and move them down here, which is the year round sunshine. Now, if you live in an area that has abundant sunshine, then this may not be the most important thing to you, but growing up in Southeast Michigan, the suburbs of Detroit, let me just tell you, gray and gloomy for six and a half months of the year is not a fun place to live. You know, our spring flower was car parts when the, 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 the snow would finally melt and you look on the side of the highway and it was gray and dirty and it just was not something that that breathed life into you we moved down here for the sunshine it gets 250 260 days of sunshine down here year round and we absolutely love it and most people do too and the weather here is incredible really from uh the second week of november through easter the the weather here in in in, in tampa bay is just second to none. It's unreal. Uh, it does start warming up quickly after that. And once you get to about May, the summer is here. We call it summer junior. And then July, August, September, that's when summer senior arrives and it is hot muggy, sticky, sweaty, all the things that people um, are negative about when they talk about Florida, but you do get used to it. Is it for everybody? Absolutely not. Will you enjoy it? Well, that's really a personal preference and uh, you have to kind of experience it to, to make that final decision, but we absolutely love it. And if you love the sun and you're a sun worshiper like we are, I think you'll love it too. Number two on my list is the beautiful beaches. And this is, you know, we talk about the abundant sunshine that brought us here but really the first time when Kate and I stepped foot on Indian Rocks Beach, we just knew that this was gonna be home. And in all fairness, her dad lives on the Atlantic coast. We had been coming to Florida forever to go to Jensen Beach. The beaches there are world-class as well, um, but they didn't steal our heart like the Gulf Coast did. When you, when you see your first Gulf Coast sunset, it is something that you can't unsee. And when you smell that salty air and your toes are in the sand, man, it is something that can just absolutely change your life. And it did ours. You know, we've got incredible beaches here. You've got Clearwater Beach, which is one of the best beaches in America. St. Pete Beach, also been voted one of the best beaches in America. Uh, Siesta Key, voted one of the best beaches in America. Anna Maria Island, Treasure Island, Madeira Beach, there are so many beautiful beaches here in the Tampa Bay area. You are absolutely going to love it if you are a beach baby. Now, speaking in the Gulf of Mexico, we've got incredible water activities that you can take advantage of. From kayaking to paddle boarding to kite surfing uh, to parasailing, you know, obviously there are dinner cruises, there's boating, there, you know, all kinds of different activities. You know, you can jump in the Manatee River and make your way down to the Gulf of Mexico. You can get in one of the beautiful inland lakes that we have here. Lake Tarpon is a great example. Obviously there's the Gulf of Mexico too, but there's just so many different Different types of activities you can do in the water scuba you know the list is endless so if you are a water baby like i was discussing before then the water activities are second to none here in the gulf you are going to absolutely love it another thing that people love here is the world-class fishing you know you can cast right off the gulf of mexico you can charter a boat and go out and do some trophy fishing you know there's tarpon there's grouper there's all different types of, of fishing because of the diverse marine life we have here in the gulf of mexico and even if you move inland again going back to those lakes we've got some incredible bass fishing here too now while that may not be something that i take advantage of all the time it gets me excited because my dad is a huge fisherman and this year he He's retiring. I'm chartering a boat. I'm going to take him out on the Gulf of Mexico and do some trophy fishing. He's never done that his entire life. And I'm so excited to share that experience with him. And, you know, if that's something that is important to you and your family or even loved ones, this is a great place to come connect and get into that incredible fishing. 
Number five on my list is the outdoor recreation and a, another reason why we love calling Tampa Bay home. Uh, Kate and I and the kids, the amount of parks that we have available to us is second to none and they are all incredible. They've all got, you know, of course they got the playgrounds in them, but the amount of nature and nature trails and just how these parks are constructed, especially here in Pinellas County where I live um, near the Gulf of Mexico are just absolutely incredible. And the parks that I've been to in Tampa, up in Pasco also, they just have so much to offer. You know, we've got skate parks here. We've got parks where you can go and run. We've got, uh, there are uh, BMX courses here in the area. There are uh, mountain bike courses. Now I know that's not synonymous with Florida, by the way, but there is out in the Alafia State Park, there is a really well-known uh, mountain biking course that people come in. They actually do what they call a cycle cross there, um, which is a, a sponsored event. And the, the big names in mountain biking get involved in that. And that's pretty cool that you have access to that. Um, you know, again, the hiking, the running, all these things where you have a lot of outdoor activities. Here in Pinellas County, where I live also, we have what's known as the Pinellas Trail. And that is like a 42 mile stretch of, of paved uh, walkway and a place where you can ride bikes also. That goes from downtown St. Pete all the way up to Tarpon Springs, all the way up the coast there. And, you know, having access to so much outdoor activities and opportunities has really driven driven us to be more active as a family. And I think that if you move to this area, you'll probably find that that's most likely gonna be true for you as well, if that's not something you already take advantage of. So outdoor activities, outstanding. I hope this video has been helpful so far, so helpful that you wanna hit the like button and share this out to everyone else who might be considering moving to the Tampa Bay area here. And with that outdoor recreation, that really drives us to the next one on our list, which is a healthy lifestyle. Um, the one benefit that we have received above and beyond anything else is again, moving our indoor life outdoors. Uh, Kate is training for a marathon right now. We have been running ever since we moved down here. We really enjoy being outside. I walk the dog for four miles every day and I see neighbors everywhere. You know, from senior citizens all the way down to young kids, more people are actively involved in moving their bodies here. The kids walk to school more frequently or ride bikes more frequently. Again, I see more seniors out here than I ever did, even in our parks back where I lived in, in Southeastern Michigan there. And that leads towards a more healthy lifestyle. Obviously you're getting more fresh air and you're, you're taking in more vitamin D, which are both well known for their health benefits. And um, this is anecdotal, but the reality is I've been able to, you know, control my weight much better. Um, I'm far more active and for us personally and our neighbors around us, you know, everybody gets a chance to get outside and plug in and it's just been really beneficial. We do have great um, grocers in the areas like Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Trader Joe's, just to name a few. There are a lot of local markets and um, also farmer's markets that you can plug into. So a healthy lifestyle is available to you. Not everybody's gonna take advantage of that, obviously, but if that is something that is important to you, that is also um, comes in abundance here in Florida and something worth checking out. Number seven on my list is the thriving job market in Tampa. You know, just the past year, Tampa added over 26,000 private sector jobs. We rank fourth in the United States in terms of the hottest job markets, and that doesn't even include government. So there's a lot happening here, mostly driven by tech and finance. You know, Tampa has become known as a tech hub in the United States. Um, is it on par with Silicon Valley? No, but is it growing? Yes, and the reason is because it's attracting a lot of young talent. Um, the city of Tampa is a very young city. If you didn't know, the median age of the resident there is 36 years old. And the reason is because these young professionals that are in tech are graduating from school and what do they want? They want a great climate, they want abundant sunshine, and they want a place that is going to match that lifestyle. And they are choosing to call Tampa home. And while most of those jobs don't even require you to go in office, they are still choosing to call Tampa home. And that is really driving this tech boom. And for years, we've been known as a financial center. You know, you got Raymond James Stadium, where the Tampa Buccaneers play. Franklin Templeton's in the area as well. Lots of other chase, you know, there, there's banks galore here. 
Also, defense contracting is really um, well known here in the greater Tampa Bay area. Education with the, the colleges, you got University of South Florida, University of Tampa, and uh, St. Pete College. And then we have McDell Air Force Base as well. So lots to talk about when it comes to jobs. And again, with all the growth we've had here in the area as well, we need medical professionals, we need education professionals, and we need service-based businesses to support um, our growth in uh, population here. So a lot taking place here in the greater Tampa Bay area, something to keep in mind. And that leads me to the eighth thing that people love here. This is a remote workers paradise. And over the last five years, you know, the greater Tampa Bay area has attracted a lot of people who get to work remote. And I know this because I've helped them relocate to the area. And just like me, um, I, I get to work from this desk. I mean, part of my role here in, in our business is making these videos and I'm able to do this remotely, right? I can go to, I can go anywhere to, to create these videos or I can just sit here in my home office and and help you guys better understand what the Tampa Bay area is like. And there are a lot of people who have relocated here to the Tampa Bay area. Again, the lifestyle is the thing that brings them and they're able to bring those remote jobs with them. And that is why this has become a remote workers paradise. The next reason why people love living here in Tampa Bay is its business friendly environment. And that is another reason that attracted us. Again, I moved from a state with higher taxes, with higher income taxes, you know, property and income taxes in the state of Michigan were both higher than they are here in Florida. As a matter of fact, I don't have a state income tax here. And that was a huge part of our decision when we made the move here. And uh, that drove, you know, part of that consideration for us and how business friendly it is. There are lower regulations in the state of Florida when you own businesses. Um, it doesn't mean that you can run wild and be unethical. That's not what it means, but it it is easier to start a business and operate a business here than other states. You know, if you look at places like California or Illinois or Michigan or maybe the Northeast where you're, where you're considering moving from, you know, we are definitely known as a business friendly state. And if you are a business owner, that can mean real serious benefits to you and your family and your business. And and your clients, right? So this is something that goes into consideration. It may or may not matter to you, but for us, it was a huge deciding factor. The next one on my list is one that has become quite controversial, and that is the affordable cost of living or lack thereof here in the greater Tampa Bay area. Now, I wanna say this, this is gonna completely depend on your personal income. And when I moved here in 2018, I remember getting to Tampa and, and seeing the houses and looking at the prices and comparing it to where I moved from. And my property taxes were gonna be a third of what I was paying for the same exact house with the same exact price in Southeastern Michigan. I wasn't gonna pay a personal um, income tax, personal state income tax, which <laughs> was another savings for me and just the overall cost of living. And we were blown away. And right away I recognized this was a, a diamond in a rough and people were sleeping on Tampa. But you know, the pandemic came and boy did that change and people found out quickly. And Tampa has since exploded. Our real estate values have increased almost 80% depending on what year you look at, but definitely from like 2018 to now, um, you know, 40% in other areas. It just depends on where you live, but it has doubled for a lot of, uh, for a lot of homeowners here. now. That's both great and it's both challenging. Now, if you're a, someone who moved here on a fixed income or retiree, or you live in the area and your wages haven't kept up with those increases, it has become very difficult, if not unsustainable to live here in Florida. And we do see people moving to areas like the Carolinas. A lot of retirees are moving off the coast or Florida in general and moving to areas like South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee, You know, which are also experiencing those growths right now as well. But for other people who are, you know, solely fixated on lifestyle and have the means, you know, they're moving here. And Florida has moved more people into the state who are earning $200,000 a year or more than any other state in the United States. Wrap your mind around that. And if they're moving from areas like California or Illinois or the Northeast, you know, we're talking about New Jersey, New York, Boston, Connecticut, you know, they're bringing those high incomes with them. They're selling real estate assets that are two or three times the value of what we have here in the greater Tampa Bay area. And a lot of them are paying cash for the homes here. So it has become a challenge, right? Inflation's been in, uh, just aggressive and has taken a chunk out of everybody's uh, earning potential. 
And for those on fixed incomes, it definitely has become challenging to say the least. So again, this is one of those sticky situations. You know, the average home price here in Tampa is right in line with the national average. We're right at about $400,000. You can still find a home for less than that. Um, you know, they're definitely not gonna be in the best areas, just to keep that in mind, but you can spend as much money as you want here too. You know, it's nothing to spend a few million or 10, $12 million on a coastal piece of real estate. So you can kind of have it all, so to speak. And to be quite frank, you know, we do fall in line with that national average, but let's be real. Incomes are not keeping up with the pace of inflation and uh, most jobs are not bringing up people's standard of, of living to fall in line with what it actually costs to live in the United States. Now, that's not a Florida thing, that's a US thing. But again, this is one of those controversial topics that is both great, you know, it's a blessing and a curse, if you will. Well, that was just 10 of my top reasons why people love living here in the greater Tampa Bay area. We have many more to cover in upcoming videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you can be notified when we drop those videos. Again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. And if you're looking to relocate to the area or invest here in the greater Tampa Bay area, feel free to reach out to me and the team. All the contact information is down there below as well. There's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that is most convenient for you. And as always, go out and live that Tampa life.